On behalf of the city and Oberlin College, we truly welcome you to another milestone. It seems like we're having a lot of these lately. So it's really for our community that we celebrate a commitment and support for the Clinton Climate Initiative Positive Development Program. Today, we belong to an elite group of global demonstration cities that are steadfast in focusing on climate change. Our role will be to set new standards of development and to minimize impact on our environment as we build and rebuild houses, schools, businesses. Our ultimate goal will be to reduce our carbon emission. For your role in this, this is a tremendous effort to bring the city and the college together to do something that is really exciting, nationally and internationally important. Uh, the members of the college. Uh, this is about rethinking the way we look at community. It's envisioning, again, as a partnership between the city and the college, a uh, prosperous, sustainable, climate-positive economy, and organizing an economic system around that doctrine. And what's unique about this is you are being more bold in saying we intend to transform this city and this college and this region from a Rust Belt to a Green Belt. And we're going to do it in dialogue, looking at new ideas and new ventures and new relationships and creating systems that don't currently exist. I think it's especially fitting that this is signing is taking place in this facility. The first deep green solar power, no waste, facility, not just on this campus, not just on any campus, but in North America. And it's also fitting that Oberlin would be a partner who has centuries of leadership and national leadership. Starting um, the Climate Positive Program was only, uh, as, as Sandy said, only established in 2009 uh, at the C40 uh, Mayor's Meeting in Seoul, Korea. Um, but it's already uh, picked up 18 projects, including Oberlin now. Uh, and what Oberlin is becoming part of today is projects with the audacity to attempt to put more energy into the grid than they take out. Um, I think you have all the ingredients here to face this big challenge successfully. Uh, you have a, a great college, so you have the knowledge base to know and understand the importance of the issue. You have the moral courage to face the problem. You have mobilized leadership, such as President Krizlov and David Orr from the college, and uh, city leaders such as Eric Nuremberg and Ken Sloan and the rest of the city council. And most of all, you've got to wear citizens and students because in the long run, it's you uh, that will have even more of an impact than the, the, the leadership. We are very, uh, very conscious of the, of the need to develop a collaborative e effort and this initiative indeed provides us with a chance to really be effective, not only for Oberlin, but the region sounds pretty hoity-toity, but the world, you know, that's the way we need to look at it. We are indeed citizens of a much larger complex of people and communities, and I think working within the context of this initiative will really, really help us to demonstrate that to the citizens of, the, of, of this uh, city and the citizens of the world. By partnering with the Clinton Foundation, the climate positive communities around the world, and of course, Oberlin College, I predict that we will not only significantly reduce our impact on the environment, but we will improve the lives of Oberlinians uh, as our community becomes known as a destination for green jobs in the area of renewable power supply and, of course, sustainable development. Uh, but I am so glad that we got to this point and that we are joining the Clinton Positive Development Program, the Climate Positive Development Program. It's so great for the college and the city to collaborate. And one of the things that I know the Clinton people uh, felt was so compelling was this very strong and unusual partnership between the college and the city. And I think this is gonna be a win for everybody because I think it will allow us to become even a stronger model for sustainable economic development and environmental education. And as, as Ken Sloan said, I think that this is not only going to benefit Oberlin, Lorraine County, and the state of Ohio, but also the world. And, and we, we are that ambitious.
Warm greetings <laughs> to all of those celebrating the entry of the City of Oberlin and Oberlin College into the Climate Positive Development Program. I regret that I'm unable to be there in person, but I'm pleased to have this occasion to thank you for joining people around the world who are creating sustainable communities, ones that use clean energy instead of fossil fuels and implement intelligent and efficient practices in water use and waste management. I am very excited about Oberlin's plans and the unique partnership involving both the city and the college. All of the city's infrastructure will be powered using clean energy. Public buildings and the college will become more energy efficient and privately owned buildings and homes will have the opportunity to do so as well. Oberlin will, be st will stand as an inspiring example of revitalizing the Rust Belt, yes, <laughs> while creating green collar jobs, yes. <laughs> My foundation's climate initiative and the US Green Building Council are proud that Oberlin is joining the 17 other projects already striving for climate positive status, showing that small cities are capable of big deeds. Best wishes for a wonderful event and for much success in your important efforts. Signed, Bill Clinton.